If you're ready to register your domain name, then you're in the right spot because that's what this tutorial is all about. You know, if you've never registered a domain name before, it might seem kind of intimidating, it might seem kind of complex. It's actually really, really straightforward. All you need is just a simple set of steps to follow. And that's, of course, exactly what we're going to do here. In this tutorial, not only am I going to walk you through the steps to register your small business domain name, but I'm also going to show you a fantastic company to use to register your domain names. There's tons of these companies out there. They're called domain name registrars, by the way. And like I say, there's a whole bunch of them out there. The one that I've been using for years and years is one called Namecheap.com. So I'm going to show you how to do this using Namecheap. And I'm also going to show you what I call anyway, the Namecheap dashboard, the domain name dashboard that they give you, which basically lists out for you all of your domain names. So you can manage all of your domain names in one single spot. It's super cool. So I'm going to show you that as well. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have your domain name registered and you'll have a feel for this domain dashboard that I'm talking about inside Namecheap. So I hope that sounds good. And I want to mention as well that when you're registering your domain name or once you've registered your domain name, you can either sit on it and use it at some point in the future. I have a whole bunch of these. You know, you come up with an idea and you go out and grab the domain name while it's available. And then at some point in the future, you get around to actually building the project. That's fine. Or what you can do is you can register your domain name and then point it to your web hosting account. So that's the second option there as well. Now, the other thing that I want to mention as well is that to go along with this tutorial, I've put together a free video course over on 10tononline.com. If you want to grab that free course, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free and grab it while it's still there. I hope that sounds good. All right. I hope all of this sounds good. So let's jump into it. Let's get started. Now, just really quickly before we jump into all of this, in previous tutorials, I've talked about how valuable your domain name is, how it's one of your most valuable business assets. I also have talked in the past about how important it is to separate your three critical web services, your domain name registration, your web hosting, and your email. I don't want to rehash all of that information here because it's good information, but it's a lot of information. So what I'll do is I'll link to those other resources down in the show notes, and you can go and check those out at your own discretion if you're interested. In this tutorial, all I want to do is focus on the task of registering your domain name and showing you this domain dashboard. So I hope that sounds good. The only other thing I want to mention before we really get going is that the domain name that you want to register may not be available because there's a lot of people on the internet and a lot of people are registering domain names. So it's always good to have some alternatives in mind. So you might be thinking of registering a domain name after your company name or perhaps an abbreviation of your company name or maybe your flagship product, something like that. So it's good to have a few ideas in mind. You might even want to jot them down. All right, I hope that sounds good. Let's jump into it. Let's go and register our domain names. Okay, so let's jump into it. Now, if you don't mind using my affiliate link, which I greatly appreciate, then you can point your browser to 10tononline.com forward slash go forward slash Namecheap. And if not, no hard feelings, you can just point your browser directly to Namecheap.com. All right, now, once you're on Namecheap's homepage, you can use the large search field in the middle of the homepage to see if the domain name that you'd like to register is available. So here I'm going to see if 10ton.online is available. Oh, and before I hit search, I should mention the end of the domain name, you know, the 
the dot com or the the dot net or in my case here dot online this is called the domains tld there are a whole bunch of these tlds or domain name extensions that you can choose from if you know the extension that you'd like to use you can add it on here as i'm doing otherwise Namecheap will give you a whole bunch of alternatives as we'll see in just a moment here when we do our search. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and click on the red search button. Okay, here's our search results page. Now, first off, notice at the top that it's showing me that my domain name is available. I get that green check mark, which is great. Hopefully, the domain name that you're after is available as well. Now, if I scroll down just a little bit, Namecheap is going to give me tons and tons of additional suggestions too. So, 10ton.club, 10ton.live... 10ton.life and so on but it's really 10ton.online that I'm after here and there I can see that it's available for just five dollars and 23 cents and I can see that it retails for about 45 bucks a year okay so I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go and click on the add to cart icon and buy this fella and over on the right, we can see that my purchase has been added to my shopping cart. Let's go ahead and click on View Cart. Now, in the shopping cart, we can see all kinds of different information and options about our domain names. So, for example, I can set how long I'd like to register the domain name for, you know, one year, two years, etc. Notice, by the way, that when I set this to two years, they're going to ding me 88 bucks so i'm not getting that special five dollar price anymore far from it so i'd better set this back to one year and i should mention this auto renew option as well this is a very handy option which will allow the domain to automatically re-register once it comes up for renewal you'll be automatically billed if you set this option so you don't have to try to remember to renew your domain name or anything like this or risk losing it so i always turn on auto renew for the domains that i register that's just my own personal choice there now below that we have a who is guard which i always recommend you turn on as well this keeps your private information private and secure online and below that we have premium dns which you know i'm not even really sure what the heck that is anyway now below all of that we have some additional options to, that we can add into our order like web hosting and promotion options ssl and so on you really don't need any of these extras all you really need is the domain name and the who is protection that's all we're after here for your website we'll be using a proper dedicated hosting service and we'll be using dedicated services for some of these other options as well now all the way back up towards the top i'm going to go ahead and click on confirm order okay now on the next screen you'll be asked to create an account before you can check out so go ahead and insert a username and a password and fill out all the other information that's needed for the account and, you know, setting up an account does take an extra moment, but trust me, it's worth it. In just a second, I'll show you my account here on Namecheap and the handy domain name dashboard that they give you where you can manage all of your domains in one place. So over on your side, go ahead and set up your account. It's easy and it's self-explanatory. On my side, I'll go ahead and log into my Namecheap account with my top secret username and password. And then I'll go ahead and log in. Okay, now that I'm logged in, and once you get your account happening on your side, we'll be taken to the final order page. And you can give a quick scroll through to review your order if you like. And then when you're ready, you can click on checkout in the top right. Here I have PayPal set up, but you can use an alternative payment option if you like. So give me just a second here. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy this domain with you right here while i have it and this will give you a chance to see the entire process by the way and go ahead and do the same thing on your side as well if you're ready to go ahead and purchase your domain name okay so there's my 
PayPal account looks like the price lowered just a little bit, which is interesting. I'll go ahead and click on continue and... And okay, order success. There's my order confirmation. You can review the order on your side if you like. Now, earlier I was mentioning that it's worth it to set up an account here on Namecheap.com because of their handy dashboard that makes it easy to manage all of your domains. Let me show you mine. And you can follow along, once again, on your side if you like as well. Way up towards the top left, I'm going to click on my account username and then I'll click on dashboard in this pop-up that appears and this brings us into our Namecheap dashboard area here we can manage our domains we can renew them we can point them towards our web hosting and so on notice down the left hand side we've got dashboard we've got expiring domains domain list product list profile and so on I'm going to click on domain list there on the left hand side and this is a list of all of the domains that I have registered on Namecheap with this particular Namecheap account. And as I mentioned earlier, you can register as many domains as you like, and you don't have to assign them or point them to a website right away. You can register a domain name while it's still available and then actually go and build the project later on at some point. Anyway, so that's it. That's all there is to it. There's Namecheap's domain name dashboard and how to register your domain names. It's easy stuff. So you should now have your online business's domain name registered. Congratulations. Okay, so that's it. That's the process of registering your domain name with Namecheap. And I gave you the tour there at the end of the dashboard, which is super cool. Again, lets you see all your domain names all in one spot and manage them all in one spot. In years gone by, I've had domains registered with different registrars. And I'm like, where did I register that domain name? I think it was over here. So I've kind of done away with all that. Now I have all my domains basically in one spot. I'm still getting organized. But anyway, that's the idea there. So, okay, the next thing, the next big question, what's next? What happens now that you've registered your domain name? Well, as I alluded to at the beginning, you can either just sit on the domain name for now. That's perfectly fine. You now own it for the period of time that you registered it for. Or you can point your domain name to your web hosting. And again, I show you how to do that in another tutorial. You can go and check that out. But either way you want to go here, I hope you were able to register the domain name that you were after initially and you now own, as I say, a valuable business asset for your company. Now, if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and grab that free course that I put together for you over at tentononline.com forward slash free. Go and grab your free course while it's still there. All right, I hope you had some fun. I hope you got your domain name registered. I will see you next time.